Greetings. Happy Saturday, or whenever you're watching this. It's a snowy Saturday here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. It's like minus 21 Celsius, which is quite cold for Calgary. We haven't had a very cold winter, so it's getting used to this chill, but it's beautiful with all the snow, so I'm not complaining. Um, I just wanted to come on because I posted something earlier in the group, and it had a little bit of people thought I, I wrote something wrong, and the point I'm trying to drive across, not everybody's gonna agree with everything that I believe and I think and I write, and that's totally fine. It's like, you don't always wanna put all your eggs in one basket with people. Um, but I wrote that what other people say to you and how they treat you is a good, is, you know, the reflection is your internal dialogue. Because what we think and say in our own internal dialogue and what we feel in our heart we are going to attract back to us. So when somebody's mean to you and somebody treats you poorly, you know, it's very easy to jump into a victim role and be like, oh my God, that person hurt me. They're so mean, blah, blah, blah. And yes, they, they were mean. Something in you attracted that into your existence. And we have a choice. And every day, I told my son the other day, we have a choice in everything in our life. We can either make take the high road or take the low road. We can either choose to react with grace and compassion and kindness or we can be an asshole we can choose to lose our crap we can choose to be mean victimize just to not be kind and you know that's what I believe timelines are different dimensions and timelines are you know in one timeline we may be kind and compassionate and the other one we may be a jerk and we may be a cheater we may be a liar um, and in every instance in our life we have those choices whether somebody triggers you you know what that's when you're triggered that is the gift right there it's the gift to go within the gift to transcend reacting to it pulling in walking away you know sucking up all your pride and walking away and digging into it and going what do I need to learn from this and it's like where do you look in your body to see why it triggered you because it's triggering you that person you know some people do poke and they try to trigger you those are the kind of people you want to remove from your life because somebody who's outgoingly trying to trigger you, there's something, there's also something in you that's calling that in. So I like what I teach and what I, you know, when I work with my clients, it's like, we're trying to pull out of victim mentality. That is the key. When we're a victim of everything around us and we lose fact, we lose sight that we're in full control of everything going on in our own existence. Like we are, we create what comes to us. We create our, you know, circumstances that come up by our thoughts. Uh, Abraham Hicks talks about the vortex. We all have a vortex. It's an energy vortex because we're all energy. And those thoughts and the words and things, you know, conscious versus unconscious creation, you know, we could have things coming up in our lives that we unconsciously created 10 years ago, that they're just like the ripple, because it's a ripple effect. As we say things to the universe, as we say things to ourselves and our mind, we're sending ripples out. And what happens is these ripples go out, and then they draw back like vibrations, they draw back like frequencies to what we think and say, whether to ourselves or to others. So that's why it's really imperative to pull in and choose kindness, choose the high road, choose to walk away when something triggers, choose to go inside and do your own shadow work when something triggers you, choose to transcend. It's all conscious choice. And when we're living unconsciously, that's when we react out of emotion and that's when we react out of, sorry, my son, Nash. No, you can't have that. Sorry, children. Um, that's when we react ungrounded and that's when we react and we pull things into us that we don't want. So this is why like meditative practices, clearing our systems is so important because then we can take a step back. We can take a step above of what's going on around us and make the choice, you know, instead of reacting in that limbic mode, in that primal brain that we, you know, the unreasoning brain. We're so lucky. We have... We have the choice in everything we do. We have something called consciousness where we do think. And a lot of us are driven by unconscious behaviors. Most of us are most of our lives because we have things. Everything is embedded in our conscious mind. Everything we go through. Everything. So that being said, I'm going to pull a card. I'm going to ask my son to kindly not interrupt because I asked him really nicely. And yes, you want to come and say hi? You can come on and say hi. Come on up. <laughs> Hi. Thanks. We're going to pull a card. 
I just wanted to clarify that though, because I, I had a couple comments, people saying, I think I worded, I worded that wrong. And, um, no, I didn't. I wanted it to make people think. I wanted it to not trigger, but I like to make people think. I like to catalyze things within. And sometimes the truth is, is it hurts and it's, it's scary and it's rough. And yes. Okay. Let me pull a card. You can come stand here and you can help me pull a card. Okay. So clearing, we're going to clear the energy and we're going to ask spirit what's in our highest, best good right now to know going forward. And I have a little doppelganger in the background watching me. Nasheru. Oh, Nash, can you go get the cat? She's trying to pull that thing down. So spirit, what's in our highest, best good? Sorry, my lives are usually not so lively. This is why I generally don't do them on the weekends when my son's here. So, oh, chaos and conflict came up. So this is it. Look within. When chaos and conflict comes around you, it's all within. It's Everything around us is a mirror for our own conditioning on the inside. So baby steps. If you find yourself being hard on yourself, switch that thought pattern back. You know, try to say something kind about yourself. If you find yourself judging, switch that back. Just pull out a judgment. Compassion, compassion, compassion for yourself. Co-create with spirit. Right now, in this age of Aquarius, it's so imperative to get back into our feminine side. Whether we're men or women, our divine feminine, we all have a feminine aspect to us. And it's finding balance. And creation, creation with spirit, is very, very feminine. It's our sacral energy. It's just this beautiful flow. And this creation will bring us into alignment. When we're creating unhinged creating that is true alignment and yeah so everybody if you feel like creating go with it and buy the book this is a great card this is just what this says to me right now is you don't have to do everything by the book it means there are step-by-step -step rules that society puts on us but it's also important to go by our own inner book and our own inner guidance whatever what people tell us to do if it feels wrong don't do it i will say this till i'm blue in the face Follow your own gut, follow your own intuition, follow your own path, you know, and if you're living in your integrity and you're not outgoingly hurting anybody, it is fine. It doesn't matter. You be you. You be you. It is so important to be you. And Nash is going to come back over and say hi as we log off. I just wanted to come on and welcome all the new folks that have joined the community. It's growing like wildfire. Continue to invite whoever you feel would benefit from this space. It's a very unjudgmental. It's very loving. It's a place for us all to grow and to help each other and, you know, share our wisdom because we all have wisdom. No matter, there is no... Like, there's no tears on this path of ascension. There's no, nobody's better than anybody else. We all have our journey and we're all exactly where we need to be right now. You're whole and complete right in this now. So just remember that and remember that you're amazing and don't ever doubt yourself. Anyway, I love you. Have a wonderful Saturday. And Nash says bye too. Bye. Bye. You got it? No, I'll get it.